Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to spend some time with you. Do some something um, that is very different from the past. Uh, this is something you probably don't want to do that, um, but I have to do that. So yesterday, when I was just kind of taking a look at this pot, and I usually I found a one mealy bug. It is a very nasty bug, a uh, tiny and white dot on the plant. Uh, usually when you find one, you probably can find a lot. So it is not a good sign. So today I'm doing just to spend some time and digging out each of the lithops and other succulents from this pot and just kind of clean up a little bit and see whether there's any other mealy bugs that I haven't seen. So yeah, uh, I will show you how how the mealy bug hide inside this um, plant. Hopefully we can find none, but my very suspicion is there must be more than one millibug from this pot. So let's start. I'm going to dig out each one and just check it out. So I'm going to dig it this one, this one out. Let me just see if there's anything here. Um, I have a little brush here, so just to check. Usually the lily, uh, mealy bug like to hide inside the gaps, especially for the ones who are having babies because those ones tend to have a little hiding space for, for mealy bugs. It is very surprising to see mealybug in California. I used to live in Northwest. It is wet half of the year, so it's making sense. There, sometimes there's a mealybug I have to get rid of. But now I'm really, really surprised that I can find a mealybug in North. California. So I didn't see anything from this one. No. So this one is good. Let me take out this one. Okay, this one is one of my favorite one. I will feel really really sad if there was some mini bug on it but I didn't see anything I didn't see anything <sighs> finger crossed Let's see another one it's good how about this one this one so usually take a look at the root area Uh, also the gaps here mm, okay, so I see it so most of the time a mealy but just to look like a tiny white scar on the lip dips so look at this one there's a one dot here really look like a mealy bug, but I don't think so. I think it's just a freckle. Just a freckle. Okay, so this one I think is safe. Mm. Well, this one uh, this one which is really interesting. I don't know what happened here. See, there's a big scar here. If, so I tap this, seems like there's a baby inside. That's why there's a stretch mark here. So 
so I think this one is safe too. I didn't see any Neva, even though there's a big scar here, but I won't worry too much. Okay, this one. This one, actually, I think this one is really weak. I'm actually thinking about throwing this away because you see, this used to be a twin, a pair of twins, but this one is already really thin. Yeah. I think just, this one's really weak. I'm going to throw it away. Okay, this is a Kono Fathom. I bought it from Europe. But you can see this one is really weak. There are four of them, but this one is really weak. When is it weak? You think, is it because there is a baby inside or just is going to be done? But my hunch is this one is going to be done. So if that's the case, I don't want to take too much risk. I'm going to just get rid of this so that it will not infect other other ones. see so if suddenly one is dead it make me wonder there's just something wrong with this plants Let's see whether there's any bugs around it I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing it. Okay, so so far so good. Not seeing one. Let's check another one. This one looks good too. This one. So this one, see, there's a two dots here white dots. At the very beginning this really worries me, but I don't think those are mini bugs. Yeah, I don't think so. And usually the the bugs like to hide within the that that leaves. There is some problem here. So we'll get this one. This is really weak. This one's really weak. Mm. Ah. Okay, look at here. It's already empty here. It's already dry. Oh, unfortunately, this one is already dead. Unfortunately. But I don't 
see those are melee bugs. I cannot see any melee bugs. Okay. Well, only one survived. I hope this one will survive. Okay, let's take a look at others. What about this one? This one is a huge, huge, look at that, how huge that is. It is a huge Conal Fadden I have. I got it for almost two years. It has split. Um, right here, this is something not good. I'm going to take that out. I see anything unusual. the gaps. Usually the melee bug like to hide inside the gaps. Mm, not seeing it. Okay, how about this one? The first melee bug I saw is actually on this one. I can understand. So this one, the oat leaves are not dried. That could provide some excuse for Mealybug to stay here. Um, are there roots? I don't see any. Good news, but how come there was one there? This 
this one I haven't seen. Goodness. There are others. This one for this one. This one has been really weird. It's gonna start to get a little dry. Yeah, I usually like to check the top and the root area. Those are the area that you look like to hide. Not seeing it. How about this one? This one. So this one, I'm really suspicious because in the past, I remember this one has a really clean leaf, but now you see there's a several like a freckles. Usually, that is a sign of mini bugs bite. Okay, so this one is a little dry. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Okay, so I have dig out all the lithops. I haven't seen any. So it's really likely it's just have one so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the soil in this pot because I'm not sure there's any left and I mean about left and then putting all the list up here back in the pot so that's all so today I haven't got this opportunity to show you what is a meal butt look like on the list, but it's a good news for me because otherwise I will be really, really sad. I will need to do a lot of other things to get rid of the little bit uh, meal bugs as a whole. So, thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.